Yes, uh, my name is Tyler Lawrence Gray. I am a newcomer in the industry, and I am on this new show called Wolfpack, coming out soon. It's a supernatural drama about werewolves. Jeff Davis coming back once again, and uh, yeah. So is acting always something you wanted to get into, or did this just happen lately? Um. It actually wasn't something that I always wanted to get into. I think I have one of those like cliche stories about it where it just like connected with me one day. I uh, I grew up as a really insecure kid and I was very introverted and I liked playing sports, but like public speaking or any form of like expression in that form was very scary to me. But I'd say when I was like 16, when I started to gain more confidence in myself, I just... I'd come out to LA at some point and I just tried an acting class and it was like a plug that just like connected in my head. And like from that moment forward, like it was something that I knew, like I fell in love with, like I became so passionate about it. Amazing. How would you describe Wolfpack to someone that doesn't know much about it? Um, You know, it's, it's kind of like Vampire Diaries or... I mean, I'm I'm not going to say Teen Wolf because I know we're trying to stretch it from not being a spinoff because it is, it's not a spinoff. It's its own thing, but it's a very exciting and suspenseful and even a little violent and, uh, you know, it's a little raunchy as well. And I think people will enjoy it if they have a taste for that sort of stuff. I mean, personally, I love Supernatural and I mm -hmm. love that kind of stuff. So if you're trying to see some monster-like stuff with also like some romance and that kind of stuff as well, you'll definitely enjoy the show. How did you prepare for a Supernatural series? Did you watch anything in prep? Um, I had already been a fan of Supernatural my entire life. I'd say it's probably still today my favorite genre, whether it goes from like horror movies of like paranormal like ghost kind of stuff or to more of like the monster realm as well but in preparation I'd say I definitely re-watched all of those again just to just to make sure well I was gonna ask because we are a horror website how are you with horror and have you seen anything scary lately um I I love horror I mean it's one of if not my favorite genre um I just I love like the feeling of being scared, but it's also like fascinating to me how some of these artists can really like bring out that fear because they're like, they're so analytical with people's psychology. And lately, like it's gotten even more complex. Like one of the movies I just saw, Smile, I really did like a deep analysis with my friends after watching that movie. And that was one of like the craziest things I've ever seen. Like knowing how they like figured that out, like it's, it's, fascinating i also loved smile i found the ending really scary did it scare you yeah. ultimately yeah it, uh you know i think what scares me mostly in those in that sort of genre is almost when it turns like sad yeah. you know when you don't have a good ending for the hero in the story because like you know the the scary paranormal stuff is more like exciting and fun to me. I'm like, ooh, that that's really good. Like they put a lot of effort into that. But I think it's when you almost are trying to grasp this like lesson. You're like, what what were they trying to show me here? I think that's sort of the scary thing, if that makes sense. Totally. Did you get to try out stunt work on the set of Wolfpack? I did. I actually did all of my own stunts. Okay. How was that? Oh my God. It was so much fun. I mean, I'm an, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Like I love doing stuff like that. So whenever they would be like, Tyler, it's okay. We have a stunt double here. Like we don't want you getting hurt. I'd be like, I mean, can I do it? Cause like I want to, and they always made sure it was very safe, but I was all for anything they needed me to do. It, it just made the experience. Like it added like so much more to just like the acting side of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Was there ever like a, a close call or did you ever get hurt or anything like that? I wouldn't say a close call, but a uh, funny story actually. So there was this one stunt that we were doing and they wanted to put a pad on the ground for me. Mm -hmm. And 
they wanted to. And it was my fault because I was like, I don't need a pad. Like, I'm fine. I do all my own stunts. And the first take without the pad, I just felt like a shock of electricity go up my spine. And I was like, they they knew. They knew. Like, I should have had the pad. So after that take, I was like, yeah, you you guys can put the pad down. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. So about your character, can you tell me a little bit what he's like? And would you say you're similar to him or are you opposites in any way? Um, no, I, I'd say like I do share a lot of similarities with Harlan. You know, Harlan is someone who is trying to find himself. He's on this constant search for like who he is as a person. As much as he thinks he knows, he's very hurt deep inside. And he sort of tries to just push that away and almost run away from it. And I can really relate to that because there's been moments in my life where I felt really lost and almost felt like there was no one that could help me with it because they wouldn't understand. But I think as Harlan deals with his family in the show and he meets other people, um, he really starts to figure out like his, almost his purpose, you know? Awesome. Back to the supernatural qualities of the series. In your real life, have you ever experienced anything supernatural? And do you believe in things like ghosts? Um, I definitely do. I know everyone has their own little ghost stories and it sounds a little crazy, but I have had a few experiences where I almost question myself. I'm like, am, am I okay? Like, are my, are my eyes okay? Like, I, there was this one time where I was laying in my room. This was back in Massachusetts when I was a kid. And my sister had walked by my room and went downstairs, but was like really loud. Like she slammed the door, all this stuff. And I was like, whoa, it's like one in the morning. Like, why, why is she being so disrespectful? Like at the time she was only like, like 12 or 13. So it was very like unlikely for her, especially because it was one in the morning. And I asked her about it the next day and she was like, I I don't remember that. Like, I never woke up last night. So that to me just kind of like, it gave me almost like that horror movie, like realization, like my heart sank. And I was like, whoa. And like, after that, I swear, like, there was a few more experiences where I was like, this house might be a little haunted. I'm not sure. That's scary. Okay, well, my last question for you today, for people interested in the show, why should they watch it when it comes out? Um, I think... They should watch it just for the message that it has. You know, it has so many different subliminal messages in it. Mm -hmm. And you can really just relate to so many different characters or multiple characters in the show. I think it's it's really a show about finding not only yourself, but finding people that you can trust. And the fact that love will always guide you in the right direction. And if you run from that, you'll learn that you may suffer consequences at some point. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you for chatting with Dread Central today. It was great getting to know you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you too. We're excited to see the show. We'll talk to you later. I appreciate it. All right, talk to you soon.